Welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps spread the word and helps make more of these videos possible. If you like this video even more, you can make a recurring donation via Patreon or a one-time donation via Coffee. The links are all in the description below. Enjoy the video. Hello, this is Gary again, and I have another video for you today. Today I'll be doing a review and unboxing of the new Blackwing Graphite writing pencils. This is from their, they have a membership program where you can get um, four new boxes of pencils a year. And um, I'm not one of their members, but I did uh, purchase this set of pencils to review because I saw pictures of them when they were first announced and they looked absolutely amazing. So um, I'm doing this voiceover after the fact, but these pencils are absolutely amazing. So this is the packaging that they come in. So you can see that it's a nice cleaned box and it's slightly different than the box that the regular pencils come in. So this is um, at the very bottom of the box. You can see that it says limited edition 12 pencils and it just shows you what this pencil looks like in really this is uh, I think a life slightly smaller than life size picture the very top it tells you that it's from the volumes um, program that you can sign up for I did have a little bit of problem getting it out of the box it is quite snug in there um, the back gives you information on um, on the history of the vinyl uh, vinyl recordings. Ooh, this is so pretty. Um, even still watching it, again, it's so pretty. Um, so this is this volume of pencils was done with the inspiration of vinyl tapes and uh, vinyl, I'm sorry, vinyl records. And it gives you a little bit of history on vinyl records in the back. And then when you open up the volume three, <laughs> 33, Point three, thirty-three 33 and a third. I don't know which is better to say it. So what you get in this translucent, transparent sheet is you get a timeline of um, analog recordings. Uh, it starts with um, 1877 uh, with Thomas Edison. And I had no idea there was audio recordings um, back then. And so after this, I went and I looked it up and you can see some, you can listen to some pretty um, interesting old time uh, audio recordings uh, going all the way up to the decline of vinyl and then the resurgence of vinyl uh, you know in the in the 2010s uh, with ending in 2018 which is this year um, the 10th straight year of record of uh, increased sales of vinyl which is crazy and so this is a set of pencils. They are absolutely amazing. They are matte black with um, the, there's this little sort of a record kind of thing at the bottom with the sort of a glossy imprint. So it's matte black with glossy imprints and there's a glossy imprint that gives you the black wing, the Palomino black wing logos, as well as it's saying 33 and a third, which is what a volume this is. The ferrule is black and the eraser is black. The core is a balanced core, but this is just an absolutely stunning, beautiful to look at pencil. And I absolutely had to have it when I saw the pictures and I was not disappointed. Um, if you are a fan of matte black, then you are absolutely going to love these pencils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pencils, write with them, and then compare them to what I think is the closest one of their regular line of pencils. So this is, I thought I would compare this with some of the other Blackwing pencils. So this is the, um, the Blackwing Volumes 33.3, which is what I'm calling it because it's easier to say than 33 and a third. 33.3. Oh, I need lotion. Ignore me. Um, so this is 33.3 this is the the all black volume look at this this is beautiful and um this is my favorite of the writing um black wing pencils that they have this is the pearl which is a balanced core it's not too hard and it's not too soft and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sharpen both of these just to show you uh let's see here this is the pearl and this is the volumes now i purchased this this set um i think directly from blackwing or from pencils.com for 22 dollars for 24 pencils and this was 25 
for 24 pencils plus shipping. So you pay like an extra $2 to $3 to get the limited edition pencils. However, I really enjoyed having this. I did have some sharpened that are in use. I just can't find them because I can't find anything. So um, I figured I'd just do some high speed sharpening of these because I enjoy watching people sharpen pencils and I enjoy sharpening pencils. So um, I thought we would do that and then I would talk about how they write and why I love these writing utensils. All right. Right, so what I did here is I just took the Blackwing two-step sharpener and I just sharpened the, both of these pencils to get a decent point, not over sharpen them because um, they can break if you do that. So for this part, I basically, first of all, I'm trying out my zoom on my camera so I can actually see it. Um, I'm not sure that you guys can see it any better. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that what I did here is I just wrote out some just a couple of random squiggles on using both the Blackwing Pearl, which is the regular uh, regular line of pencils and using the limited edition 33.3 uh, .3 pencil. And you can see that for the most part, the core is exactly the same. The big difference here is this amazing barrel, the ferrule. Um, just just the look of it so if you like the look of the white pearl and you wanted something in matte black then this is going to be the perfect pencil for you um, all around I'm very happy with this pencil all right so we got everything out of the way I showed you some writing samples and even after the fact I still have a little bit of hard time telling which is which they both write pretty much the same i switched out the end of this ignore my crappy handwriting i got dandy walker i can't see what i'm doing it's just all a mess um so i purchased both of these but blackwing did send me this um actually a long time ago i'm a terrible person but um i'll probably include this in my gift guide for this year um this is really fun this holds 24 unsharpened pencils so um actually you know what that might be fun i want to show you this too this is really cool this is hold 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 all right this is the 33 and a third and this is a point saver if you want to travel with your pencil and you want to keep your point you put it on the point saver and i don't know if it fits with the point saver in there let's let's find out no it doesn't quite fit with the point saver in there i think it has to have a little bit more use than what i have on it right now um so anyway, so if you want to travel with these pencils, this I'm told is a rare pencil because of this gold band. I don't, I don't know. I have a, I have a box of these. I'm um, almost finished actually with the box that I had of those. Um, but anyway, so you can put a bunch of pencils in here and you can travel with this like this. If you so felt inclined to do that, um, I'm not sure that I would travel with 24 unsharpened pencils. But if you wanted to, you totally could here. Um, so anyway, overall, I really like. Oh, and by the way, if you want to use this for um, the only thing I don't like about this um, this case here is that it does, as you can see, it does collect cat hair like nobody's business. Um, but if you want to get these pencils, I highly recommend them. There are other special editions that I was going to show you guys, but um, I don't really want to show you guys that because I feel like I've shown you guys enough stuff. Um, but this is really cool right here. OK, this holds more than 24 pencils, I think because if it held 24 pencils it would have already been full with what i'm showing okay so this holds it says that it holds 24 unsharpened pencils but it holds more than that so that's kind of cool and it stands on its own um so anyway so probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send at least one of these um and if i get another box of these before they sell out i'll send one of these also um to patrons in the december box so those these will go out in the december box at least for the at very least this one will go out in the december box and if I get another one of these, then I'll send, I'll include one of these also. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this a little bit off topic review, but um, I like pencils and I thought you guys might like them too. Um, so I will see you guys next time. And uh, thanks. Bye. Let's test out the zoom here. Stewie. Oh, why you look so mad? He looks like an angry lion. Look at him. He looks like an angry lion. Why you look mad, son? All right. Ignore my mess over here. This is a scratching post. They need a new one right now. I keep the carrier out so he'll go in there and be less panicked when we take him to the vet. But it doesn't help. He still panics. Dewey. Oh, he's so cute.